If anyone needs to go to the bomb shelter, go ahead. If someone has an air raid alert, leave the class and go to the shelter. If everything is fine, let's continue. Arina Gerasimova's schooling is punctuated with warnings like these, delivered by her teacher virtually. Fighting rages just 25 miles away from her home in Slovyansk, a city in the eastern Donetsk region, which is under regular threat of Russian airstrikes. The eight-year-old's education was first forced online by the COVID-19 pandemic, then again by Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine almost two years ago. Her mother, Irina, says she hasn't attended school since the first grade. She used to take judo classes. She was an active child. Now I look at her and she has changed so much. She doesn't want to do anything. She doesn't have friends. Her spirits are low. She knows it's a long time before she can come back to school, to judo. She has changed. Mentally, it's hard for her. Now a third grader, Irina says she would like to make friends, see her teacher and play outside during recess. She never meets her classmates and knows them only from their thumbnail images online. But the hope of returning seems a distant dream. Local school director Anatoly Pogyarelov said classes in frontline areas like Slovyansk would remain remote unless better bomb shelters were built or until the war ended. Remote education is the only way for now. Maybe when Ukraine will win back most of all of its territory, we could consider mixed or offline studies. The possibility of studying where there is an equipped bomb shelter. Currently, we do not have this option, alas. However, in the northeastern Kharkiv region, which borders Russia, Officials have begun building heavily fortified underground schools to allow children to return safely to in-person studies.